Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, and this video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about the Sega Game Gear. So much like the Sega Genesis, I adopted the Game Gear very late as well. I think the system was already dead by the time I actually picked one up. And like I think the year after the Game Boy Advance came out. So I did manage to get a few pretty good games in that whole thing, but you know, it I think that system could have done a lot better if the battery life wasn't so bad. But here we go, we're gonna go over some of my favorite Game Gear games, and just they're not in any real particular order. These are just the ones that I actually own and enjoy. So, first up, we have Sonic Drift 2, which is actually the only Japanese game for the, for the uh, Game Gear that I own, released in 1995 by Sega. Guys, it's just a kart racer with the Sonic characters on it, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. I definitely had that Sonic feel to it. It played very well. You know, it's just a lot of fun. I don't know if we can get this game in the States over here very easily or not, but, you know, there's multiple ways of actually playing this game now, especially since the Game Gear is actually pretty easy to emulate. They've got Game Gear adapters for for systems now. You know, it just there's there's multiple ways to get this done. So I would really suggest playing Sonic Drift 2. It's a fun game. It's a it just has a lot to offer. Next up, we're gonna go with an RPG, which is Shining Force: The Sword of Hyjal. I think I got that name right, but who knows. So, it was released 1993 by Sega. The Shining Force series was really nice for me. I, I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy a lot of the strategy games, especially the, the, the movement-based strategy games like Final Fantasy Tactics and stuff like that. And this is just another game like that, where you move the characters on the board and and strategically move around and stuff, and it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of really good storyline in the Shining series, you know, starting all the way from Genesis, going through Game Gear, going to Sega CD, going to Game Boy Advance, and, and so on and so forth. And it's just, you know, this is part of the series. It's wonderful. It's great to have it on the go. And, you know, I, it, I, it's something that I'm very happy to have in my collection. This next game was kind of dumped on a little bit by some of the people that I enjoy as GameZack. And you guys probably already know what this is, but it's Outrun Europa, 1992 by U.S. Gold. And I get it, U.S. Gold is not a great company, they don't do a lot of things very well, but... I actually was pretty decent at this game and had a fun time playing it. I liked playing an OutRun game. I was still a big OutRun fan. And I'm hoping for more OutRun games in the future. You know, I, I play Horizon Chase Turbo and it's a lot of fun. It feels a lot like OutRun, also feels a lot like Rad Racer. But this game, OutRun Europa, you start off on the bike, you end up on the car, and various other things like that. And it's, it is fun if you're good at it. If you're not good at it, you'll know pretty, pretty quickly, and you won't be able to get through it. Definitely try this game before you buy this game. And lastly, we have columns. How can you have a a handheld system without some sort of puzzle, you know, puzzle game on there? This was released by Sega 1991. Columns has actually been on multiple systems. It's been on the Master System, on the Genesis, and, and you know, and it's been in various classic collections to, you know, be revisited on the Dreamcast and, and things like that. And Columns is a good game. 
It's color matching where you're going to drop down kind of like Tetris, but it's color matching kind of like Sega Swirl, which if you don't know what Sega Swirl is, just go look it up. It's actually a lot of fun. But Columns was a great game. I absolutely loved it. It was a little bit ahead of its time. Heck, I think the Game Gear was ahead of its time just because the full color background was just really well done. But like I said, a little too far ahead of its time. The battery life was just so terrible on the device, especially because of the the backlighting and all this other stuff. And game gears are hard to keep up. I actually had to spend quite a bit of time on recapping mine so that mine would work again. But I'm not I don't regret owning it. I'm very happy with my Game Gear, and hopefully you guys will be too. If there's a Game Gear game that I didn't mention that that's one of your favorites, you know, just leave it in a comment below. We'll have a discussion about it. I will, you know, I'd love to hear what some of your guys' thoughts are on the Game Gear. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.